So about three months ago, I made a couple of videos about my current solar powered project, which was a hybrid solar mini split air unit and a three kilowatt solar array. The air unit is a heat pump, so that means that it has both heat and air conditioning, and it also runs on solar power or the grid when there isn't enough solar energy to power it, such when it's raining or it's nighttime. The air unit was purchased from Signature Solar as a complete kit. It came with both the mini split air unit and the solar panels. The only thing I had to do was install everything once it arrived. This is a DIY kit and you can save a bunch of money by doing it yourself. I'll put links to the kit down in the description of the video. I'll also put links to those videos in the description as well. My goal was to just let it run for a while and then crunch some numbers to see how much energy was saved and then to answer the question, was this a good purchase or not? And was it worth it? The main problem that I ran into was by the time I got the air unit installed and the solar panels up and running, it was the beginning of spring and we had a very mild spring here where I live. So for about two months, the air unit didn't run very much, F at all. So the mild spring did delay the data collection even further, but right now it is the middle of summer and there have been plenty of long, hot summer days. I can finally do some number crunching and find out if this whole solar thing was a waste of money or a wise investment. Which sounds like an easy question to answer, but I quickly found out that wasn't the case. The answer to that question may be different for you. That's because it depends on several different factors. The first thing to take into account is the cost of electricity, which sounds like a no-brainer, but it's really not that simple. Where I live, the cost of electricity is still pretty cheap. It's only about 15 cents per kilowatt. Plus, we don't have peak and off-peak times, so that means it's pretty much 15 cents a kilowatt 24-7. I know that some of you out there are paying as much as 50 cents per kilowatt, if not more, and the price can also vary depending on the time of the day, or if it's peak time or off peak time. Let me know down in the comments where you're located and how much you're paying for electricity. Also, let me know if you have to deal with peak times and off peak times. The question of is it worth it is also gonna depend on where you install the air unit, such as an off grid tiny home or cabin, or as in my case, in a shop that already has grid power. If the only option to have air conditioning is an off-grid solar array, then someone's opinion of is it worth it will be different than someone who has a connection to the grid. Another factor to take into consideration is how the air unit is going to be run. You see here in the making stuff shop, I only run this air unit during the day. That's because there's usually nobody out here at night and there's no sense running the air conditioner. And besides, at nighttime, it's just going to pull power off of the grid anyway. I usually turn the air conditioner on when I come in here the first thing in the morning and it doesn't take long to get the temperature back down to where I like to keep it, which is around 72 degrees. It might run a little bit longer first thing in the morning to catch up and get that temperature back down to 72, but it's going to be running on solar power, which is free, so there's no need to worry about it. Another factor to take into consideration is the time of the year because in the summertime, the days are longer and there's more sunlight, which means there will be more free solar energy. In the wintertime, it's the complete opposite with shorter days means less free energy. So with all of that to take into consideration, let's start crunching some numbers and see if this was a wise purchase or not. If we open up the app for the air unit, we can see that it keeps all of the historical data on the amount of energy that it uses. It can be sorted by year, month, or even day. For this calculation, I'm going to only look at the month of June because it is the only month so far that the air unit has been used on a daily basis. If you look at this graph, you can see that there is a green line and an orange line. The green line is the amount of solar energy it used, and the orange line is the amount of grid power that it used. And for the month of June, it used 103.32 kilowatts of solar power, and it pulled 22.05 kilowatts of grid power. That means it used a total of 125.73 kilowatts 
for the month of June. So here at the Making Stuff shop, electricity is 15 cents per kilowatt. That means that the air unit, had it been connected to grid power for the entire month of June, it would have cost $18.80 to run for the entire month. However, 103.32 kilowatts of that energy used was solar power, which is free. So that means we saved $15.50. And for the entire month of June, it really only cost me $3.30 to run the air conditioner for the entire month. So you might be thinking, big deal, you saved $15 a month. Well, that is true, but let's take into consideration, maybe the Making Stuff shop is located where electricity cost 50 cents per kilowatt. If that were the case, it would have cost $62.69 to run it completely off of grid power, and we would have saved $51.66. So let's take a look at the return on investment because that's what most people are going to consider when they ask the question on, is it worth it? And with 15 cent per kilowatt electricity, it would take me about 16 years to recoup the entire amount of money that I spent on the air unit. However, if I were located where electricity was 50 cents per kilowatt, that return on investment time jumps down to only about five years. But let's not forget, that is only for the one month of June as of filming this right now. It is the middle of July, and I can say that this air unit back here has been running a whole lot more than it did during the month of June. There has also been plenty of sunny days, so there has been a lot of free solar energy to be had. I am going to continue collecting data and crunching the numbers and keeping you guys updated in the future. I also have a few gripes about this air unit and the solar panels. If you watch the original videos, I go to it more in depth. But basically, my main gripe is that the solar panels plug directly into the air conditioner. So if the solar panels out here are producing 3,000 watts of electricity, but this air unit back here only needs 750 watts, that means there is 2,250 watts of electricity that is being wasted. I did mention this in the original video, and I think if there was a way to hook up some batteries to the air unit to store that extra electricity so that the air unit could be maybe run at night or on cloudy days, that that would help bring the return on investment down to maybe only about two or three years. And I do have some ideas for storing this extra power that the solar panels make. If that's something that you would be interested in seeing, let me know down in the comments of this video. And like I said earlier, if you're installing this in an off-grid location like a tiny home or a cabin and it's off-grid and you don't have the option of grid power, then your definition of is it worth it may be totally different from mine. So I'm going to let you draw your own conclusion at this point of is it worth it or not. I am gonna let this air unit run and I'm going to continue to collect data and do some number crunching. And I do think the numbers will go up favorably over the next couple of months. And remember, if this solar hybrid mini split air unit is something you might be interested in, check out the links that I'm gonna have down in the description of the video. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.